Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial I want to teach you how to use Drop My Site to back up external websites. So let me give you an example. If I go over to my hosting services and I'm going to use ResellerHostingUS.com. Now on this package I've ordered Drop My Site um, from us here at Name Hero by default. So um, each night everything inside the ResellerHostingUS.com cPanel is going to be backed up. So let me click log into cPanel and show you. So I can go to website backup, click right here, and I can see inside of here that my subdomains and main domain are automatically backed up once a day. Um, if I have databases, which I don't currently, they will also be backed up, as well as my email addresses are automatically backed up. Now, if you want to add an additional website, so we see this with a lot of customers, especially resellers that want to back up some more of their websites that they host in their reseller account, but they don't want to have to pay for another Drop My Site account. Well, that makes sense that maybe you don't, maybe you just have a couple of their websites or databases that you want to back up in your reseller account and you don't want to order a whole new Drop My Site backup account. And that's perfectly fine. You'll notice on this demo account here, I'm only using 130 megabytes of 5 gigabytes. So I still have plenty of space to add other sites. So if you notice here to the right, you can add a website, add a database, add a website blacklist monitor for malware and such, add an email address and also add a monitor to your current site. So you can add but more than just your one site that's automatically backed up. So let me, um, let me give you an example here. I'm gonna go back into my client area and I'm gonna go to web host manager because this is a reseller account. Um, now if I look in here, I'm gonna go to list accounts and you can see that I've got another website called keydiets.com set up. So let's say I wanna back up key diets as well. So first off, I'm gonna go into the cPanel for key diets and I want to create an FTP account so I'm going to FTP FTP account and I'm going to call this a drop my site and then I have to generate a password so let me copy this here make sure I've got it successfully and I'm going to give it access to the root directory and create FTP account so now I want to go back over to drop my site and I want to add a website. So now I got to choose a protocol. I'm going to use um, FTP, use plain FTP. You can use encryption if you want. You can use if you have an SSL certificate, but just for this example, I'm going to use the bare bones default. Um, and you have to type in the host name. So I'm going to go back to where I created my FTP account and notice at the top here, the host name is philip.uswebhost.com. So I'm going to type that in philip.uswebhost.com. I'm then going to go back over here and my FTP account I created. My username is going to be this. So drop my site at keydiets.com. So I'm going to go back over here and drop my site at keydiets.com. Then I'm going to paste that password in that we just um, generated and click next. It's going to test it and make sure that it can connect. This way you, you know it's going to back up. And now you can see the directories. So these are the directories that it's going to back up by default. So by default it's going to, direct, it's going to back up all of them. I can click off and then I can just select specific directories. Now if I want to, I can back up the mail directory. Uh, if I want to back up all the emails, I can back up the logs and all this stuff. But for my example, I just want to back up the public HTML. That's where the meat and potatoes of my site is. So that's what I'm going to back up. I don't want to waste um, space backing up all this other stuff. So I'm going to go down here. You can see it's got some exclusions and you can get rid of those if you don't want that. Um, and then I can look at my retention, keep 30 days or, or what have you. Now you base this based on how much space you have. If you have a lot of space then you can keep 30 days, but you might just find it more feasible just to keep seven days. How often do you want it backed up? Once a day, twice a week, once a month? Once a day is nice. And the start time, I recommend doing this kind of later in the evening, um, you know, kind of your off peak hours just to kind of keep the load low. Um, and then of course your time zone. So you can, you know, wherever you're located. So I, I personally like to back up around the midnight hour, you know, maybe an hour or two before. That way, if I need to restore, I have an idea in my head when the last backup was taken. Um, so that, I'm gonna set it at that, click next. Now we have to give it a profile name. So for this, I'm gonna call it keydiets.com. And you can choose whatever you want. The host name's this, the directory's here. Um, this is what's not gonna back up, error logs and logs, because these type of directories take up a lot of space and they don't really make a difference here. They don't really help you when it comes to restoring files, so to speak. 
So I've got all this here to um, confirm it. I can start a backup now if I want. I'm not going to, and I'm going to save it. And now you can see keydiets.com automatically is going to back up here. And so then after um, tonight, when it runs in, in five hours, I'm going to have backups here for this website. So that's it. It's all set. It's going to back up the files um, for this account. Now you say, well, Ryan, okay, cool. I backed up all my files. What about my databases? Well, that's a very good question that you asked. Let me show you how to do that. So you notice when you have WordPress, you have a database and files. So we go to MySQL. And you can see here for this site, keydiets.com is just an example WordPress site I set up for this. So you can see it has one database. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up just this one database. So we're gonna go back to drop my site. We're gonna hover over um, databases, add database. Database type, it's a MySQL, port 3306 default. The host name, so we go back to our cPanel, we notice it's still on Philip. So we're gonna add in Philip. Now, before we go any further, there's one thing you have to do. With MySQL, you, you have to add this IP address for security. So we're gonna copy this IP address. We're gonna go back to cPanel. And in here, we're gonna go back to the main page and we're gonna click in MySQL again, or type in MySQL, whoops, and click on Remote MySQL. And here, we want to add that IP address. So we let cPanel know that when that IP address comes fetching that database, that it's, a, it's a good IP, it's not malicious. That's for your security. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna go back to MySQL because we're gonna have to create a username just like we created a username for the FTP for the site. We have to create a user for the um, database. So we'll go back to here. Whoops, go back to drop my site. The database name, so we'll scroll down here. This is the database we want. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna paste it in here. Whoops. I just got a new keyboard, so my copy and pasting is a little bit slower than it should be, but we'll, we will definitely get it. Okay, so username, we're going to make a user, and we're just going to call it drop, because the MySQL users can't be as long. We're going to generate a password, copy it. After we do that, we then have to assign the user permissions to the database. So add user, we're going to add drop to the database, click add. Click all privileges, make changes. So go back over here, I'm gonna enter the password and grab my database user. I copy it and paste it. Next, it's gonna check the connection, make sure we didn't make any typos or have any errors. We didn't. Now you can see this database, it's a standard WordPress. It's got all these tables. Um, so that's just gonna confirm it's reading it correctly. Retention, we can, I'm gonna keep seven days. You can go longer or smaller depending how much space you have. Frequency, I'm gonna do once a day. Start time, we're just gonna start it about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, time zone central, next. And now we can call this Key Diets Main WordPress DB. Or you can call it, you can just call it the database name. It's whatever you, that you can keep track of it. Go down here, make sure everything's good, click save, back. Now you can see under databases, I'm now backing up that database. So that's how really versatile Drop My Site is. So, you know, if you order it for one cPanel account, you can use it for many more than that. Um, it's automatically going to back up that one, like I said, but if you want to go in and configure other of your sites, we have a lot of our resellers that say, well, I want... I want Drop My Site backups on all of my sites, but it doesn't make sense to buy a Drop My Site account for each cPanel. And we understand that. That would get, you know, even though it's $1.99 a month, that might get a little expensive if you have a couple of accounts that, you know, are, are important, but they're just, you don't want to spend the money to have that a month. Uh, then you just go through this process and add them in here using this wizard, and you have all these backups. And, um, you know, that's the real powerful thing about Drop My Site is you can restore files, restore databases uh, from these multiple restore points. So it really just make sure that your account is secured and, um, and you're, you've got backups of backups um, just to make sure that you never lose any data. Um, so in my opinion, this is one of my favorite things about Drop My Site. I'm very pleased with them and our partnership at, here at Name Hero. We've had hundreds of customers sign up so far and we, we look forward to others um, doing so. So I hope you got a lot out of this video. Now remember at Name Hero, we automatically back up your site each night. As long as your site is not over 20 gigabytes in data or over 100,000 inodes, then we automatically back it up. But we only retain one data, one, one night's worth of data. If we were to retain more than that, it would be not cost effective. We'd have to increase our prices and it wouldn't be nice. So 
as the option to that, we offer Drop My Site. And so Drop My Site, you, you have as many, you can save up to 30 days. Um, you can start off for $1.99 a month and have five gigabytes of space. So if you need more, we can, of course, um, you can order more space. So just a very efficient and effective way to back up your site um, and to really make sure that everything's secured. If you're not using Drop My Site, I do recommend that you're using some type of backup um, additional to what we provide here at Name Hero. Just make sure that all of your site and data is secure. Let us know if you have any questions, if you have any, if you have any issues setting this up, just let us know. We're more than um, happy to go in and take a look. But thanks so much for using Name Hero, everyone, and enjoy the Drop My Site backups on all of your accounts.